Howdy folks, Manning Mike way up here in the corner. <laughs> Not trying to block any part of the screen. So this is my last general video on the 2023 Charles S. Roberts Awards. Uh, there'll be more unboxings coming later, but at a more relaxed pace. So we are on to the Capstone Award for, but first, let's talk a little bit about voting. Uh, so voting is very personal. Use your own criteria. Your own criteria are legit. And you might be saying, wait, Henry White, you just been harping about these different categories and what qualifies or not. And should this process be tight, tight up? And are you saying that I can just vote any way I want to? It's exactly what I'm saying. When you vote, it's up to you how you engage with the material. Regardless of what the criteria is for games being in a category, once they're in a category, you can react to them any way you want to. You can decide to vote or not to vote in any category. Don't feel you have to be you know, ultra qualified, have played all the games in that category. You can decide that for you, it's like whatever's your favorite, period. You know, so hey, this is the period I like. I'm going to vote for this in this other category here too. Maybe it's your favorite designer, your favorite uh, publisher. Maybe it's publishers you don't like. Whatever reason you have for wanting to vote or not in a category, that's totally up to you. You may have played two, this is hypothetical, you might have played two games in a category, you didn't like them. And so he says, well, why should I vote? I didn't like those games. Well, maybe you say, well, I know that those games shouldn't be best in that category because I didn't, that's my opinion. I, I didn't like them. So let me vote for one of the other ones because I think these two aren't it. That's just an example, but it's up to you to engage with the material. How you want to vote the way you want to. Now, I'm <laughs> filming this at like 1 p.m. on Monday, the 13th. The uh, voting is going to close at midnight Eastern time tonight. So it's 4 p.m. now. By the time this is up on my channel five, you might not have much opportunity. But if you have not voted yet and you're seeing this, go ahead and vote. Go ahead and look through the categories and vote on whichever ones you feel that you want to by whatever criteria. Again, it's your vote, your choice, your way. Okay, so let's continue. So actually now to the game of the year, there are seven nominees. Now first, what is that criteria? And I go, oh, I didn't write that criteria again. This is just the stated criteria. You can vote based on whatever you want to. It's for the game that best exhibits the highest standards of excellence in design and execution. Again, they don't, qual they don't qualify that. They don't make an objective list, so how you react to that, if that is the category, you can pick whatever you want to in, you know, game of the year based on whatever you want to, whatever is your criteria. So the seven nominees, we're doing this in alphabetical order, and yes, the A and N do not count, so British Way starts first, B. All right, now, just a quick note, there are four games in this box, four mini games, and so the little arrows are pointing to uh, uh, Malaya, uh, Kenya, Palestine, and Cypress Surge. I don't fit that in the best I could. Next up is Downfall. And again, I'm doing this alphabetically. Uh, this is Conquest of the Third Regime. <laughs> say that. This is you know Europe, World War II, 1942, 1945. Next is Europa Universalis, The Price of Power. So obviously that's set up there in Europe. Uh, it's a social, economic, political game with some you know fighting and stuff. So not necessarily a war game, war game, but it meets the criteria for uh, these categories. So next up is Plantagenet. We're not going to dwell long here. I'm going to say Plantagenet, the Latin. Uh, so that's uh, in England and France there. That's uh, like uh, uh, Henry II through Richard III, I believe it is. This is that period. Uh, House Plantagenet. All right, Mr. President. Errol there pointing to the uh, capital of the U.S. This is sort of like a um, chief executive simulator, the desk of the president. Uh, again, it's a, it's a uh, political, social, economic game with some warfare, warfare behind the scenes. It's not a war game per se. Uh, Valley of Tears. This is Yom Kippur, uh, Israeli uh, war with Syria and Egypt in 1973. And last but not least, but last alphabetically, is We Are Coming Nineveh. This is set 2017, the uh, Iraqi security forces against the Daesh of the Islamic State uh, vying for the control of Mosul. Now, 
All of these games in this game of the year category also were nominated in other categories. We're going to show them all at once and we're going to go from upper left and just do uh, counterclockwise. Again, I'm not sure if it's on your screen if it's going to come out that way or is it the other way. <laughs> but so we have Downfall was also nominated in World War II and strategic categories. Plantagenet, medieval and operational categories. Valley of Tears was in the modern category. The British Way was in the modern and strategic category. We are coming Nineveh, modern and tactical. Europa Universalis, the price of power in the political, social, economic and strategic categories. And Mr. President in the political, social and economic category. So that's the seven game of the year nominees. The other categories that they're done in there. Uh, I will try to finish unboxings of these, but only like, like one or two a week. Once the uh, awards get announced, I will concentrate on unboxing those winners. Um, so you can see that stuff. So this has been a Meandering Mike production. And don't forget, if you haven't voted yet, there may be still time if you're watching this on the 13th uh, and you haven't voted yet and it's not yet midnight on the East Coast. So all you good folks out there, take care. And don't forget, take care of your games and they'll take care of you. Ciao.